why is this the part that I don't like doing? I've literally been talking to a camera for like the past four freaking days and for some reason sitting down and saying, hello, good morning, my name is Paris. I'm kind of vibing with that actually, let's go with that. <laughs> My name is Paris and welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about myself before I get into the video today. So I am 22, live in Perth, Western Australia, and I am a qualified carpenter. I'm a FIFO worker. I, yeah, I'm a chippy up on, in the Pilbara uh, on an eight and six roster and I love it. And I really, really want to encourage more women to get into a trade to get into FIFO to chase their dreams. Um, I'm here to answer every single question that I can possibly answer for people. There is barely any women telling people the ins and outs of their experiences in doing a trade, doing an apprenticeship, working away on site, um, doing FIFO. I have a lot of other friends that do FIFO uh, and I have a couple of girlfriends that have done an apprenticeship in a trade and I'm going to be seeking their help as well to help me answer as many questions as I possibly can. I'm gonna be showing you on-site life um, and then what I can afford to do on my weeks off being a qualified carpenter in the FIFO game. <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm going to go through everything I've got here. In my kit and caboodle of what I am taking, I have got my favorite jumper. To dinner, I wear trackies. All my leggings, depending on whether or not I go to the gym, which let's be honest, I probably only go like three times. My one pair of work clothes, so I have a fresh shirt here and I wear Bisley work pants. So my pants and shirt. <clears throat> My two like civilian people shirts that I wear to dinner. My Tattoo Central just t-shirt. Um, so I bring one shirt with me and then this is a long sleeve crop top that I wear with my trackies. It's been warm but also because it's a crop it lets a bit of breeze in. Um, it just suits me, I like it, I feel comfortable. Gym clothes. So I take one pair of leggings, one sports bra and like a little crop top that I wear over my gym shirt. Keep in mind that if you're looking to go to dinner straight from the gym, quite often you're not allowed to wear singlets. So this will probably be getting swapped out to like a t-shirt crop top to wear. Uh, my runners to wear to the gym. Do not forget thongs. On my first swing at the camp I'm at now, I took nothing but work boots and I had to go and buy some quite pricey thongs from the little like shop where you buy beers and stuff from. They're very uncomfortable thongs that you get from the mine site camp. So don't forget shoes to wear to dinner, which takes me into work socks. Three pairs of work socks and two pairs of normal people, like ankle socks to wear to the gym. And then I am taking bathers. I'm gonna start going for morning swims to wake me up a little bit. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me on my morning swims as well. And I'm gonna see how it affects my work day. So I bring a microfiber cloth. It can also double as a gym towel, which I'm probably gonna do. And then I bring three undershirts. I wear these undershirts so that it kind of contains a lot of the sweat so that my work shirt doesn't. Um, I find it stops me from smelling as much. You know, two sports bras. The sports bra I wear on the plane is coming with me. And then this one is just a little spare, which I alternate between them, of course. Undies, don't forget your undies. They don't sell them there, so. I don't know, I bring like four or five pairs. You wanna be safe. Hats. My boss was lovely enough to buy me this, this sexy bad boy. <laughs> I feel sexy. <laughs> Safety is sexy. I bring this bag with me. It is a lifesaver. Um, you do not get given like a washing basket or anything or a bag or anything like that. So, highly, highly recommend. Protein powder, okay, porridge, porridge sachets. They're delicious. Um, it saves me having a big fry up every morning, which I did go through a phase. I'm going to go through what I put in my hand luggage, like work bag. I got this bag from Coles. It is like a cooler bag that I like take on the plane with me. So I put all my stuff, like all my carry on luggage in this bag. And then when I get to my room, I take out everything I don't need and I use it as my lunch bag. 
in said bag, I have my reusable containers. Some places you go to are not gonna have plastic containers that you can like take every day. Um, on top of that, I know people that use like six new containers every day and then they just throw them in the bin and it is so wasteful. So highly recommend getting yourself some containers. I got these from Coles. So I put these at the very bottom. Like that. So that's gonna be my little oats container. My pens, I have my carpenter's pencil and then all of my pens, I like an art line and I also always bring an art line texture with me. They're rarities, R ra rarities. When you are work walking around site, if you find yourself an art line, sneakily take it. You didn't hear that from me. <clears throat> Tissues, I just recovered from COVID. So if I get a little bit schnotty in the top pocket, <laughs> Um, next thing, I take tuna, all of my vitamins, I take vitamin C, um, magnesium, I super recommend taking magnesium. I also take a woman's multivitamin every day, and then I take barocas, put those in my little side pocket in here, along with my smelly 9 C's. Oh, I also take a B12 because most of the time I eat like a veggie diet, I don't normally eat meat again because I'm not like super fond of the meat that is up on site. Okay, next thing. This is not cocaine. <laughs> it is creatine. <sighs> Hydrate. Lip balm. I always take pore pore because I quite frequently get tattoos on my week off and sometimes I forget my tattoo, my tattoo cream. So I always buy and bring pore pore. Band-aids. Get them. Take them. Keep having them always. If you get blisters, if you nick yourself for everything, just get them in the front pocket. I hate the look of like normal safety glasses, so I got myself some safe styles. I got my clears. I love them. So my clear safeties. Also have my darks, which I wear throughout the day. So I have this little thing on that I got from BCS so I can just like flip it over and then like when I'm inside I'll keep my spike clears on the top of my head and I like alternate <clears throat> small gloves well medium small whatever nice forks and spoons I may or may not have taken these from the mess on one of my swings I do not go to the camp that I took them from anymore so it doesn't really matter we, we don't know my knife got taken off me at <laughs> at the airport. So at the current, I have got three spoons. I like this one because it kind of looks like a baby spoon. I'm one of those freaks that have certain cutlery that I like. Okay, I get dermatitis, especially when I'm away at work. I think it's due to the heat or something. So I bring my little hand cream with me. This is your first swing. I'd say just go to it and like sense what your camp has and stuff. But I like to take some snacks with me because I'm a snacky girl. So I take fava beans. I like to take my Carmen's protein bars which are delicious. So I take quite a few of those. I'm not liking the hair right now. It doesn't matter Paris. But that, I take some Avalanche sugar-free drinking hot chocolate. Um, charges, do not forget them. <laughs> I've done it many a times. I actually have like a list that I check now, even though my bag pretty much stays packed from the moment that I land till I fly back out again. Remember your earphones. I did not on my first swing, which is crazy because we were literally on a plane ride for normally a couple of hours. So do not forget them. Do not forget to charge them before your flight. And don't forget your charger so that you can keep them charged. I feel sweaty. My Fitbit. I like to have competitions with people throughout the day about how many steps they've done. So this is a, this is a must for me and don't forget the charger. Phone charger. This is what I forgot on my first swing, which is the dumbest thing ever, because you know, you need that. It's it's a necessity, so in the side pocket it goes. Squinches. Um, I just put a couple in the front of my bag so that I know that I've got them when I'm at work. It, I'm only gonna have one a day because I've, I've heard that they can cause kidney stones. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hydration's key to anything. Um, I get the sugar-free ones because and she takes a drink. This is sugar-free, by the way, so it is what it is. 
my water bottle comes on the plane with me i just carry it it's awkward it's weird but my yeti water bottle is my most needed thing that i take up with me but yeah let's get into the toiletries Woo! this is what's in my toiletry bag the first thing i take is my own washing bombs and i take these little sensitive washing bombs with me because i hate the powder that they provide face mask um once every time i'm away i like to just have like a relaxing cartoon night where i chuck on a face mask and do my whole skincare routine and next thing i take is nurofen and melatonin okay let's get this one out of the way the next thing i take is a little self love self pleasure <gasps> friend oh that can drop friend with me moisturizer the next thing i take is dry shampoo and leave-in like conditioner for the ends of my hair next thing is a hair clip a hair lackey this is one of two deodorants i take this is toothpaste and toothbrush obviously oral hygiene is important floss sticks aussie man hands barrier cream my inhaler <laughs> zinc one jello lip balm yeah nail clippers Tiger Balm, Q-tips, cotton buds, whatever you want to call them, exfoliating gloves. Our soap is just not enough, let's be real. Next thing is Soap Sing Period Cup, Matt for my ladies out there, lip scrub, and then all of my skincare I take. I have got a hemp seed oil, an antioxidant cleanser, eye cream, B3 serum, moisturizer, Sunscreen, important, SPF, look after your face. Let's stay youthful and beautiful. Let's do it. Lash serum and retinol serum just helps my, I don't know what it all does, but it does something and it works. All of that in there. And that is what is in my very large toiletries bag. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know, watching my first video. I would really appreciate the support of a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much. I hope you have amazing days.